Salve te discipuli, this is help for your Latin studies in Henley First Year Latin, exercise number 180. In this exercise, we're given some new verbs with new endings that are in the perfect, indicative, active, and um, asked to translate them. Tell what forms they are and then translate them. Okay, so let's just look at a few random words here. Number one, we have widerunt. With day root. Okay, this is from our verb video, widere, widi, wisus. It is from the second conjugation family, so I'm going to write that bit of information. Um, second conjugation, and oh, no, actually, let me write. We can get confused with our second person, second conjugation, whatever, whatever. So Second conjugation family. It's a little irregular, and you may have rem you may remember when we've been given um, irregular vocabulary, ones that don't follow the typical pattern of their conjugation family. It gives it in all four forms. I just looked back at when that vocabulary word was introduced, and um, sure enough, there all four principal parts were listed there in the vocabulary because it does um, deviate from the normal pattern. Okay, so it's the second conjugation verb, errant. Let's look and see where we find that ending in our grammar book. And I see it here. So it is a third person plural and it's perfect tense. So second conjugation, third person, plural, perfect, perfect tense. And so this would be translated with errant as they looked at or they saw. Okay, and then let's look at, let's do another one that's from a different, let's do number three, because this is from the fourth conjugation family. Audio, audire, audui, um, audio, audire, I might have to turn back, pardon me. Audio, audere, audiwi, auditus. Looking at that, the forms that are presented at the beginning of lesson 13. Okay, so with that in mind, we know that it's, oh, what do we got here? Audiwistis. Okay, this is fourth conjugation verb. And I'm looking at the ending istis. Istis. There it is. Second person, plural. So a group of you, y'all, and perfect again. And so we would translate this as you heard or y'all to be clear that it's a group heard. All right, we'll do one more here together. Let's look at 16. Fuisti. Now this is from our irregular being verbs. Sum esse fui futurum. So that perfect, um, that perfect principal part there is uh, fui. And we're substituting the ending there for fuisti. So I'm going to write that down. Fuisti. We'll look at what that means in a second. Um, it's irregular, so I, I'm not sure which conjugation family to write there, but let's see what person, number, and tense this might be. So isti is here, it's second person singular, perfect tense. Singular, perfect. So we're gonna have past completed action, Singular second person, so you, one person. And it means are, right? I am, you are. But we're putting in the past tense, so you were. Okay. So just go one word at a time and um, consider the conjugation family that it belongs to, its person, number, and tense.
I think most of them, if not all of them, are gonna be in the perfect tense, so that makes it pretty simple. And then um, go ahead and translate it accordingly. I hope this has been helpful to you. Have a great day.